Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be a little small makeup haul. or any of my videos please make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button you also want to make sure that you click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also subscribe to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley TV so you guys, I know I just brought you a haul, but I had to get these last few items out of my system before the next haul you'll see, which is going to be the Sephora VIB sale haul, okay? You guys know I kind of go ham with that sale every single year, and I'm really excited that it's coming up this year. I will have a video on recommendations and all of that stuff, so make sure you stay tuned to see all of that, but that's not what this video is about, okay? We're going to be talking about the few things that I got here. I went to Ulta and Sephora and I just got several items and I just want to show you guys what I picked up. Oh and FYI if you guys like this makeup look I did do an Instagram tutorial so all the products and you guys will see how I did it is over on my Instagram. So again you should be following me on my Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty so you don't miss looks like this. So the first thing I picked up was another Laneige sleeping mask. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that I really love this sleeping mask. I have so many different flavors and I'm probably gonna buy some more during the sale because now my husband is hooked on them as well. But this one is a new shade or a new flavor and it's the, what is this one? The Mint Chocolate Lip Sleeping Mask. So this just goes on your lips. It comes with a little spatula and um, it literally stays on my lips all night and just keeps them super hydrated and super soft throughout the night. Plus, it's really good because you guys know I'm pregnant now, so I have to keep water at my bedside because I just get really hot and dehydrated throughout the night. So even when I'm drinking water, it still stays on and my lips still feel super soft and super hydrated. So I love this stuff and I just had to pick up another backup. Then for lip care, I also picked up this by Farsali, and it's the Farsali Unicorn Antioxidant Lip Mask. I'm not gonna lie, I watch a lot of like Instagram makeup tutorials, and a lot of the girls use this Farsali lip mask, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this, so I wanted to try it out. So it just looks like this. I love Farsali's packaging. I like Farsali as a whole. Most of the products that they have, I really do enjoy. But this is how it looks. It's a nice little pink-ish lip mask and I'm excited to give it a try. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm definitely excited to use it on my lips. So I totally forgot, Kat Von D was having a 25% off sale. So I picked up several items from the Kat Von D website, which I normally don't shop at, but I got the sale notification. I was like, a yes, God, throw it in the cart, okay? <laughs> so the first thing I ended up getting was, was this little double-ended eyeshadow brush. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not a huge fan of double-ended eyeshadow brushes, but I needed something else so I could get free shipping. So I went ahead and picked this up, and this one, is called is there a name for it there's no name on it it just says shade on this side and then light on this side so um, it looks like like especially this side I would totally use that side to blend out like my outer corner so we're gonna definitely use that then I picked up a new eyeliner and this is the inkwell liner it's their long wear matte eyeliner and I got it in the shade Vamp vampira Vampira, and I do have actually a liquid lipstick called Vampira, and it's a really pretty like deep burgundy red and so I thought getting a liner that looked like that would be really cute and I just love how it comes to a point it's like so cute to sit on your vanity so I'm definitely excited to try this y'all know I don't do the color liner very often but um, I do want to experiment with this one they had all types of colors too and those were on sale so I picked them up 
And then along with that, I did get a new liquid lipstick. This is one of their Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks and it's in like a little mini version and it's the shade Ruthless. So it's just a really pretty like berry shade. Perfect for this time of year. Actually, it looks like it would go perfectly with this makeup look, but yeah. And the last thing I picked up from Kat Von D was the new True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. So I have been wanting to try this since I heard it was coming out, but I was a little hesitant. And then when I saw they were having 25% off, I was like, okay, this must be a sign. So this is what it looks like here. I got mine in the shade Tan 68. I think this is the perfect shade. I haven't even swatched it yet. I don't want to get anything on this white sweater because I have somewhere to go. So I'm not going to swatch it today, but there will definitely be a video coming up with this product right here. I'm so excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this foundation. So I did try the, what's Kat Von D's other liquid foundation? The super full coverage one. I've tried that before and I did not love it. The Tattoo Locket Foundation, that's what it was. I didn't love it. It was just way too, it was just too full coverage and too cakey and it just really wasn't my thing. I wasn't a big fan of that. So this one is supposed to be a little more lightweight, not supposed to be as full coverage and um, it's just supposed to be like a good like everyday foundation. Like that Locket Foundation was not an everyday foundation. So I am just curious to see how this works, how this wears, especially this time of year, I can get away with a more lighter coverage, a more lightweight foundation, um, a more not as matte foundation. I can get away with that this time of year. So excited about this one. Last but not least, I did get two products from Ulta and the first one is the new Dose of Colors. Um, concealer. Now I got it in the shade 18 medium tan. This is way too light for me. I suck at picking out concealer shades. Like look at this. This is like ghostly. How is this medium tan? Like who's medium? I, I don't know who who is medium but it show sure ain't me because this like medium tan no. This is like this is pale as I don't know what. So this is clearly not my shade. I'm going to have to return it and then pick up a deeper shade. But I do want to try this concealer. If you, again, follow me on Instagram, I did do an Instagram review on the Dose of Colors foundation. I even worked out in that foundation and it was so good. So I'm definitely interested in the concealer and want to see how they work and play well, to, or how they play together. And if they play well, that's always a concern of mine and a question of mine is if products in the same brand play well together. Because um, a lot of times you find that they do, but there are those rare times that you find that they don't and it's just really intriguing to me I don't know last but not least I picked up the ColourPop Lovebird pressed powder palette now this is a palette that seems like it would have done well coming out in like late January early February maybe like in January so you can catch them for Valentine's Day but it's so pretty I haven't bought a ColourPop palette in a very long time so I thought I would try this one and what really got me were the gorgeous glitters in that middle row. Like look at these glitters. They are like legit pressed glitter. So I'm really, really excited about this. Not that I needed another palette because I just did an eyeshadow palette declutter. I don't think you guys are going to see that before you see this video, but it's coming. And there's a lot of eyeshadow palettes in that video. So I didn't really need another palette, but like I said, those pressed glitters like caught my eye and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And so I was like, girl, just go ahead on and get the palette. So that's what I did. But that is it, you guys. That is everything that I picked up from Kat Von D, Sephora, Ulta, Farsali. Yeah, that's everything that I picked up from those four places. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. Maybe you can start making your list out for the Sephora VIB sale. And let me know what you've recently picked up. I'd love to know what you guys recently picked up on your makeup shopping endeavors. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, you guys.